Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. I'm going to walk you today through the electrical um, system on the SLK R170 chassis um, Vario roof system. It's actually delightfully simple once you know how it works and hopefully uh, this video will help you understand it better. It, and by the way, the system is quite similar on the um, R171 chassis made from 2004 on. So what do we have here? We have, of course, the hydraulic system, which we are covering in much detail in, a, in separate videos. That is the five hydraulic cylinders and the pump in the trunk. But again, we're going to go through the electrical system right now. Uh, going to show you or talk about uh, the nine micro switches in here and the controller in the front and the uh, red button vario roof uh, switch. And that's pretty much it. Um, I will actually walk you through what these switches are doing as the roof is closing. That may be the easiest way to explain it. Um, just remember this whole thing is driven by a computer so there's logic involved every time a certain sequence of your um, a certain section of your roof opening or closing sequence has finished some micro switch is going to tell the computer this is done now it's safe to move the next part and so on and so forth so in order to close the roof obviously you all know that there is the luggage compartment um, a divider that has the switch S69 slash 10 luggage cover engaged micro switch in the right corner of the trunk that obviously needs to be engaged before we can close the top and um, the switch S69 slash 12 trunk lid closed uh, is in the um, rear as well it shows that the trunk lid is closed the regular way so there's nobody in there putting groceries away while you're trying to um, close your top and um, then of course there is the roof down switch the roof down switch is on the right side main lift cylinder it gets triggered when the roof is stored in the trunk that switch s69 slash 11 and uh, now we're going to move on to switch S84, the driver input, or simply red vario roof button. We're going to push this button forward, as you know, to move the top, and it gives that signal to the controller N10-3 in the engine compartment in the right front. And that again is the vario roof control module. And now let's see, we'll push this button forward. And first thing you see is the trunk lid lifts up. So while the trunk lid is lifting up, we're having switches S69-7 and S69-8 um, saying the trunk lid is not down anymore. Trunk lid down switch gets triggered when the trunk lid is down all the way. And uh, again, we have um, separate videos that show every single switch's location and how it works. But this is just a quick walkthrough of what all they do. So the trunk lid is flipping back. Next thing, while it's flipping back, it will be hitting a limit switch. Oops, I'm pushing it the wrong way. It will be hitting a limit switch S69 slash 9. Trunk lid open in the far right corner of the trunk. The frame of the trunk lid has triggered a limit switch. It says the trunk lid is pushed all the way back. Now it is safe to lift the um, roof up. So now Indeed, the uh, vario roof goes up, and while it's doing that, it is releasing the roof down switch. It keeps going forward. Now, as the roof goes forward, we have these um, plastic cones in front of the vario roof. Well, the one on the right side now triggers the S69 slash one roof closed switch as soon as the vario roof is down this far. Uh, it triggers that switch and that tells the computer it is safe to latch the front. So that will happen next. Now the front is latching while the uh, trunk lid in the rear is going down. The front latching is um, activating uh, switches S69 slash 2 and S69 slash 3, which are the roof lock to the windshield uh, rotary uh, tumbler switches in the front. They will uh, signal locked 
while at the same time in the trunk actually the last thing that happens in this sequence the um, S69 slash 7 and 8 uh, trunk lid down switches are telling the computer the trunk lid is down now it's safe to just roll up the window and um, our roof is closed this is all and again go look at our other videos on where exactly these switches are how they work um, what you have to do to replace them and we also have a video on uh, diagnosing the roof controller in the front while well, not diagnosing it but actually uh, manually reading every switch readout from the engine com compartment just with a multimeter and a paper clip. SLK switch S69 slash 1, the roof closed switch, is in the windshield header. Um, it tells the computer when the roof is closed, meaning not it doesn't tell that it latched, but it uh, tells the computer that the roof is in. Basically, if you look at the black cones that uh, are in front of your barrier roof top panel, as the top panel is entering the right front lock, this black cone is triggering the switch. Hope you can hear it. And uh, the switch is in here looks something like this and it gets triggered by the cone again now the failure that you can see in these switches same in switch s69 slash 2 and s69 slash 3 is in early model years that is in production up to uh, august of 99 the bellows which is the little boot on these switches can become stiff and uh, when that bellows is stiff it does not let the switch release itself when it's when it's not being pushed and uh, two ways to go about this one you buy the updated version of the switch or you simply carefully uh, take off or cut this uh, little silicone boot here um, this is the second most likely switch to fail in the whole SLK rooftop system and uh, again it's easily checked by um, seeing whether it clicks. Put a screwdriver in here and you will likely hear it clicking. SLK switch S69-2, the roof locked to windshield on the right rotary tumbler shown here. We've taken the headliner off, off the barrier roof top panel and here is switch S69-2. It gets triggered by the linkage if you lock the um, barrier roof in the front, the linkage triggers this switch. You can hear it clicking. Easy to check the switch. If it clicks, it works. And the typically the only thing, two things that go wrong with this are one, if you have a model year 98 or 99 production before uh, September of 99, then the bellows on this switch in hot climates can um, get stiff and the switch does not release itself. Um, remedy is to either cut off the bellows carefully without damaging the switch or buy the a replacement switch from Mercedes. SLK switch S69-3 is the left side uh, brother or sister of S69-2 which is on the right side. It's the roof locked to the windshield left rotary switch meaning it gets triggered when the uh, SLK roof latches in the front. You can do this by turning the latch with a six millimeter Allen wrench. Of course you know that and uh, the switch gets clicked when the roof is latched. Um, two things that make these switches not work right. One is if you have a model year 98 or 99 uh, up to production of August 99, uh, then the bellows on this switch can become stiff, which makes the switch not release on its own. Um, best way best thing to do in that case is buy a replacement from Mercedes or very carefully cut the boot. 
around um, the spring that's behind it and remove the boot. SLK switch 69 slash 8, the trunk lid down switch is on the right side inside the trunk. It gets triggered by the trunk lid frame flipping forward, latching down in the forward position. We have it elevated here a little bit to demonstrate. The switch itself is kind of hard to get to to try to trigger it yourself. Um, it gets triggered by the latch when the latch engages all the way and it actually hooks into the under the latching mechanism. Here it is working and uh, we have actually just taken it out uh, for demonstration. So uh, here it is mounted in the latch itself. It just clicks in. The easiest way to test it is to uh, uh, either tap its wires or go to the front controller. We have a separate video showing you how to check um, every single micro switch function directly at the controller. It's easy to do. So again, this switch gets triggered, meaning closed circuit, when the trunk lid is all the way latched forward and down. SLK switch S69-7 trunk lid down is on the left hand forward latch of the trunk lid, meaning it gets triggered when the trunk lid comes down. It's a mirror image of the one on the right side that we uh, showed you earlier um, in the other video on S69-8. We showed you exactly how the switch looks and this time we can show you how it gets triggered as the trunk frame comes down into its forward latch, you may be able to hear the clicking. Here we're in the right rear of the SLK trunk and I'm showing you switch number S699, that is the trunk lid open switch. Um, it gets triggered by the frame of the trunk lid when it is fully retracted. So the trunk lid frame will be triggering this lever on the switch and hopefully you can hear it clicking in the video if it clicks it works so if you don't get the signal properly then uh, check the wiring harness whether the connector is loose or some wire got cut down the road and by the way this is the only switch of the whole um, ensemble ensemble of um, micro switches in the vario roof that is open when the top is fully closed and latched and the luggage cover is closed. So here's your number one culprit uh, micro switch why your SLK top might not be working. It is the luggage cover engaged switch in the trunk, meaning this switch here gets triggered when your luggage cover is closed and of course this cover needs to be closed uh, for the roof to retract safely. If this switch is not engaged, then you can push your red vario roof button forward and the top will uh, act as if it was going to close some more, but when you pull it back, you will just get a flashing light. So again, this switch here needs to be triggered by the luggage cover. And if it clicks, it works. Now, if you hear it clicking and still um, think that the signal is not getting to the computer, then you can take the cover off from the pump and check your wiring. Make sure that the wire is actually uh, hooked into the switch. It pulls off of the back of the switch, so make sure you don't have this wire hanging around here loosely. SLK switch 69 slash 11, the roof down switch. Here's a picture of it, a little bigger than the actual switch is. This switch is um, clicked into the uh, roof's frame with these barbed hooks. And we've covered this extensively in our uh, video on removal of the right vario roof main lift cylinder. We're also gonna blend in some photos now of uh, what this switch looks like in place. Again, it is located 
on the forward left end of the right vario roof main lift cylinder. This switch gets triggered here by the uh, roof frame when the roof is fully retracted. That is why it's called the roof down switch, meaning once the vario roof has folded down all the way into the trunk, um, the switch gets triggered. Let's see if I can imitate this. Yep, here I can push with a, with a screwdriver and at least I can hear that the switch is clicking and working which doesn't mean that um, the wires haven't been compromised somewhere. Normally the switch fails only after cylinders have been removed and somebody accidentally broke it or forgot to reconnect it to the wiring harness. We're looking at the inside rear of the trunk lid in the SLK and switch S6912, the trunk lid closed switch is hiding behind this panel that is held in place by uh, three tabs. We've taken the tabs out already. And now let's uh, zoom in on the tumbling mechanism for this uh, rear latch. Basically this switch tells the computer that the trunk lid is closed all the way so that you don't uh, try to open the roof while somebody else is putting groceries in. And this switch up here that I'm actuating with my little pick is uh, what's clicking when the trunk lid is actually latched. So it gets pushed when the uh, trunk lid is latched and that gives us a closed circuit saying trunk lid is closed. SLK switch S84, it's a driver input or simply the red vario roof um, control button switch that you use to move the top and uh, its function is easily verified in the uh, engine compartment if you go to pins 28 and 29 of the uh, control module. Okay, here we have the uh, vario roof control module N10-3 in the SLK's engine compartment. Um, it may sound scary, but it's actually pretty easy to read out the uh, single micro switch uh, status in the uh, roof. To get access to this controller, of course, we took the um, cover off that is just sliding back these um, sliding back these things, retainers, and you take the cover off. Here's your controller. It's the module that's closest to the battery. has a ton of wires going into it. We're interested in only nine wires going in here that give us the whole input of the uh, micro switches and even the um, uh, vario roof switch. Um, I'll blend into the video now a schematic of the pinout on this uh, controller and then um, you will have to look very closely. Um, all the pinout numbers are printed in very, very small numbers on every single connector in here where the wires go in. And um, once you make out the first one, like on this uh, gray plug in here, once you make out the first one, you can work your way over the way we've done it here is we've tagged the first wire that we were able to recognize and confirm that the uh, color on it was correct it matched what was on the schematic and then just counted over in the same row where was the next um pin for the uh, for what we needed to read out uh, what i'm going to show you now is the uh, readout for the lid or trunk lid open switch because currently the roof is up and the only switch that is currently not triggered when the roof is up all the way is the um, lid open switch S69 slash 9. It has pin 92 which has a blue and yellow wire and uh, if we now turn the ignition on we have a voltmeter hooked up here that is um, of course the common is to ground of the battery or the chassis and all we need to do is um, the other end uh, with a paper clip go into the wire that we are uh, looking for 
there would be 12 volts on this wire if the switch is open whereas when the switch is closed it will short the signal to ground that's how the computer knows the switch is closed and that makes it so easy to read so um, we'll turn the ignition on sorry about the noise it's the fuel pump kicking in and here I uh, push the paper click in clip into uh, pin 52 Ta-da! we have 11 volts well, we'll have to charge the battery. We've been using it a lot. Anyway, um, that way we can go through all these pins and verify the function of every single micro switch in the system, including the um, VarioRoof uh, switch itself, um, the red switch in your console.